Hey, hope everybody's having a great day today. Happy Monday. Uh, we're getting done with the holidays finally and getting back to normal. Uh, hey, just a quick thing here. I just uh, had a great coffee meeting with somebody who just got into the real estate business. He was in a previous field for over 40 years and you know, he was in sales and man, he nailed it because a lot of people in sales just are totally like reactionary. They feel they have to be the customer service person. They feel like they have to put out every fire and they don't really, you know, from my experience, most of them don't know, you know, not just from mortgage and real estate, but just sales in general. Uh, a lot of people get really hung up on building a team and having the right team there so they can serve more people. Not just serve more people, but serve the right way because you can't do everything. You can get to a certain point and then it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna totally blow up on you. So, I mean, he nailed it. He basically says, listen, I'm already building out my systems and processes and I already know exactly where I'm gonna be 12 months from now. I, I know how many people I have to contact. I mean, he has everything laid out and he's gonna execute it because that's what he's done in his career. And he's doing this now because he's always loved real estate and he doesn't have to do it, but he loves it. And so he's gonna be successful. So the main thing is when you get into sales, you have to have systems and processors. You can't just you know, wing it and, and fly by the seat of your pants. It's just never gonna work. Um, and, and then all of a sudden, when the market turns, people are gonna blame the market. No, it's your systems and your processes because if you don't have that in place, you don't know how many people it's gonna take to um, you know, obtain a certain goal and have those numbers, it's just never gonna work out for you. So it was so refreshing to hear that for somebody who hasn't even been in the business. He just got into it. Uh, but, you know, the biggest thing I had to learn over the years is when you're building a team, and once again, I've just been doing this just under 20 years here. This October, it's gonna be 20 years in this business. But the biggest thing I had to learn when building a team, first of all, you know, I had to get better as a leader, number one. Number two, pick the right people, make sure they're hungry, humble, and smart. Uh, if they don't have those three qualities, then they're, they're not coming on our team. Um, but also have the systems and processes in place and always tweak them and try to get better at it. If you don't have that and people don't know if you put in at point A uh, and then at Z, this is going to pump out, then it's going to be total chaos. You're going to be totally reactionary um, and not control your day, control your business and control your